let's get your client tickets set up. So client tickets are gonna be for if your client regularly submits something that they need from you and you wanna be able to capture all of that information without having to go back and forth uh, in an email, instead just having a form that they fill out, I recommend using tickets. So first we're gonna get your form set up. So that's here in workspace settings and then you'll go to form builder. Uh, for this example, I'm going to show you this content brief that I already created. We've got a long video about how to create these forms if you go into our help center. But for now, here is what a form will look like. Uh, you use these form inputs by clicking and dragging where you would like them to be. And then within each of these descriptions, you can choose whether or not this is required or not. And so this is something where in your content brief or anything else that you are using your tickets for, you can make sure they won't be able to submit this form if uh, they haven't filled out all the required questions. So again, cutting down on that back and forth because nobody's got time for that. Okay, so now we've got your form created here. We're gonna go into have your ticket and all of its statuses. So here under workspace settings, we're gonna go to communicator. Uh, it's communication with your clients and that's why it lives under communicator. Here are your requests and tickets. So to create a new one, here I'll show you how I made this one. Uh, you can click on the plus button here. Um, we're gonna call this our content brief uh, request uh, ticket type and you'll attach that form. You can also have this without an attached form where your client just creates a ticket and they get to free form write what they need. Um, but for this example, I'll show you how to do that with this form. So here's the content brief that I just created. I'm gonna attach that form here. You can add status options. So if you wanna add one, you can do that and you can click and drag um, the handles to move those around as necessary. Um, and these are also editable, so feel free to rename those as you like. So now I've got my ticket set up here with that form. Again, if you prefer something like you want to give your clients an email address, uh, you can also manage it that way. There's lots of information about that here that I won't um, read to you directly since you can read it yourself. Um, but that is exactly how um, if you want to just have your client's email and address and have that create a ticket, you could do that as well. So now we've got our ticket created for your clients. They can access that in your client portal. What you'll want to do is in your client portal, make sure that that feature is enabled. So you can enable that for all of your clients here under enabled features, or if you want to grant individual permission, so only some clients have your uh, tickets, uh, you can do this permissions. And then here under custom access, you can say, okay, these are the email addresses that I want to have access to my client portal in general. And I can customize this feature access here to have requests and tickets tickets enabled. Let's take a look at how your client will see this in their client portal. So here is what my client portal looks like. They'll have this requests here in their left nav, and um, they'll be able to see past ticketing requests here, as well as the status of those requests. And then they can also create a new request. So um, you can click new requests. I do have several different types of requests created for my clients, my pretend clients. Um, so they'll, you'll, they'll see this drop down if you have multiple types of requests. So here's that content brief. So they'll add a subject, they can um, CC uh, anybody else who is on this account. And then here is that form. Here's how that is going to show up for them. So here is all of that information that I want to make sure I uh, that I am collecting from them and then they'll submit the request and then you'll be able to see that within their client file. So here are uh, here you'll see tickets. And these are all of the tickets that have been submitted. So you can open those, you'll be able to see um, all of the information, you can add attachments, you can go back and forth here. Uh, this is where the answers to the form will show up underneath my face here. Um, and then you can add updates, you can add a, a CC here as well. Um, and you'll get all of the information here in your tickets. If you would like to create a ticket yourself as well, you can do that from here within clients and click the plus button to create a, a new ticket manually here as well. And again, you'll get that same um, full ticketing thing here, you can add in the client. And then here you can say here is 
that ticket that you want to create. Um, and you'll be able to do that from your side as well as the client being able to do that from the client side.